Hi, everybody, and happy Thursday to three new senior meteorologists, Matt Wentz, with Look at Your Forecast. Appreciate you joining us on our YouTube channel. As always, lake effect clouds are giving way to sunshine. It's cooler today. 50s for highs. I kind of missed that 80 the other day, but hey, it feels like fall outside. Tonight is going to be cold. We've got clear skies. High pressure will settle overhead, so temperatures will drop back into the 30s. The only thing uh, that's going to kind of counteract any heavy frost development tonight is look at our wind. We're going to have a bit of a breeze helping to mix things up. Either way, it's going to be a chilly start to your Friday morning. We'll likely start with sunshine tomorrow, and then we'll increase clouds as we go throughout the morning. And notice by midday into the afternoon, we're scattering showers around here. There's not a lot of moisture with the system coming in, so I'm not expecting a lot of rain. But again, we will have some showers on radar in the afternoon. And the good news is it looks like we start to clear out by evening, so your evening plans may be saved from any raindrops. Uh, we'll see how that evolves tomorrow. But either way, not a lot of rain with this, and we'll turn cooler tomorrow evening with a nice northwest wind helping to cool us down again. Weekend looks okay at this point. We'll have sunshine mixed with clouds, uh, but it will be on the cooler side. We'll be in the 50s. If you've got to do some leaf blowing, that fall foliage is in peak right now, but a lot of leaves are starting to fall now. Uh, today's, I, I would not do it today, and here's why. Wind is out of the northwest today, so the leaves will, you know, you pile them up here. Tomorrow it switches around the southwest, so they'll come back. And then on Saturday, it goes back again. So I would wait till Saturday to leaf blow, and you want to leaf blow them into the southeastern corner of your yard. Unless you have neighbors across the street, I'm not going to tell you to do that. But either way, uh, Saturday is probably the better day versus today to take care of those leaves. And, and, and Sunday looks great as well. Both days in the 50s, sunshine mixing with clouds. All right, let's get to next week. This is where all the action is. After this front goes by, here's your high pressure that settles in over the weekend. Dry, few clouds around. But watch the system that develops out west. It'll develop Monday into Tuesday, the first big fall low pressure system. This happens every fall right around Halloween. It's like clockwork. Big low pressure gets going. You can see with all the isobars, those are that's uh, lines of equal pressure. It means it's windy when they're close together. We're going to develop this strong southwest wind starting late Monday. It'll go through Tuesday and Wednesday. That's really going to heat us up. We'll have clouds around, so it's not going to warm up a whole lot. Snowstorm on going Tuesday in the Rockies. That low pressure comes out in the plains on Wednesday into Thursday. We'll likely have severe weather in the plain states. All of this still west of us. And then we'll watch that cold front come in Thursday, Halloween day. Looks like the rain will be moving in for those trick or treaters that we have on Halloween night. And then we stay active next week with another big system developing maybe over us the following week. Rainfall, I know it's been so dry, but we're going to have some rain coming our way over the next two weeks or so. And then you notice the snow staying out towards the west for now. In terms of your Halloween forecast, we'll bring it to you. We've been talking about this for a few days, but might as well put it on a graphic rain and warm and windy. We'll probably be in the 70s Halloween day, but falling back into the 60s with that rain moving in Halloween evening. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast 50s over the course of the weekend. Get out and enjoy those fall colors while they're still here. Next week, big warm up though. I've got us well into the 70s by Wednesday. We'll have some clouds around. Remember, there'll be wind with this as well, but we should stay dry through at least Wednesday next week with a nice warm up on our hands. We've got your next update on the TV side of things coming away at four o'clock. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you then.